Good morning, my name is Max Murphy with Denison Yachting. I'm here in Stewart, Florida aboard one of my new listings, the 2017 65 Fleming Showtime. This pristine, captain-maintained 65 Fleming has a three stateroom, three head layout, a spacious salon joined with a fully functional galley with tons of storage and a massive salon. Powering Showtime is a pair of Cummins QSL9 continuous duty engines, each of which are 410 horsepower piece. The upside to these engines is lower maintenance costs, they're more economical and provide an impressive 1600 nautical mile range at 10 and a half knots. One of my favorite things about this vessel is her spectacular lines, which are unmistakable from any distance. With her proud bow and sturdy low profile aft, Fleming is famous for their fit and finish, far surpassing everything in the class. One of the great things about this vessel for owner operators is the three locations, this being the aft station where you can operate the vessel from. All three stations have ignitions, bow and stern thruster, and electronic throttles. Adding to your toolbox is the yacht controller, where you can dock this vessel anywhere on board. Over the next 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna take you through all the options and show you all the quality that makes a Fleming a Fleming. Our first stop on today's walkthrough of Showtime is gonna be the boat deck, located aft of the flybridge. As you see it today, it's home to a Dragonfly Custom Flats boat. The size of the flybridge allows enough space to store a 16-foot inflatable yacht tender. Showtime's tender is deployed and retrieved by an upgraded 1,750-pound capacity steelhead davit. Looking up from the boat deck, we see a fully loaded radar mast that rests above the 65's hardtop. In addition to offering shade and protection from the rain, this large molded top is also home to a substantial radar and comm setup. Forward are two Garmin GMR 6-foot and 4-foot open array radars. Another important feature up here is the FLIR M625L dual payload thermal camera that gives you a crystal clear view of your surroundings even after the sun goes down. Now let's turn our attention below the Flybridge hardtop. Looking in this area, we first see that there's a U-shaped alfresco dinette that wraps around the molded dining table. Immediately forward of this molded-in seating area is a raised sun pad. Running along the port side of the flybridge is a summer galley with every essential appliance that you need. These include a grill, an ice maker, an isotherm refrigerator, and a freezer. In the port forward section of the flybridge is the upper helm that offers full control of the Fleming 65. Everything the captain needs is arranged around a polished ship's wheel. First, we see two Garmin 8617 multi-function displays that flank a 15-inch touchscreen. The engine throttles are to port, which is right next to the chain counter. Towards the other side of the helm is where you find an autopilot, FLIR night vision camera control, as well as the ABT track stabilizer control pad. Wrapping up on the helm, let's pass down a five-step stairway from the flybridge down into the pilot house. The most outstanding thing about the main helm is how timeless the design is. In here, we find a traditional teak and holly sole and a large stainless steel and teak trim destroyer steering wheel. Facing the instruments is a stid helm chair just an arm's length away from everything you need to run this yacht from inside. At this helm, there are a pair of Garmin 8624 helm chart plotters, Garmin GMI 20 instrument displays, and an autopilot control. Other instruments located at the helm include two ICOM M605 VHF radios and bow and stern thruster joysticks. There's also a great space in the immediate area made up of a raised settee and table, which provides seating for four. Two things that I really love about this boat is that the pilot house can be completely closed off and it has its own day head. Flanking both sides of the wheelhouse are two sliding doors that open to wide side decks. Stepping outside, you immediately feel the width of the side decks that enable safe, sure-footed movement from bow to stern while at sea. Protection against heavy weather is provided by the Portuguese bridge, 
which features port and starboard gates for access between the foredeck and the side decks. This is a crucial space on this 65 footer and the overbuilt feel of everything up here gives you the confidence in her ability to perform. Encircling the entire foredeck is a stainless steel handrail that complements this yacht's safety and accents a bow originally designed for the Fleming 75. This overbuilt space offers an anchoring platform that's especially large and robust. A dual windlass setup is what raises and lowers Showtime's two bow anchors. One of these is a 130 pound ultra stainless steel anchor on 300 feet of chain. And the second anchor is 80 pounds. Wrapping up on the bow, we're gonna jump to the stern and take a look at the other end of the yacht. The first thing you notice back here above the waterline is a fixed swim platform. It's here that you have the name board as well as access into the water. Access to the cockpit is via a boarding gate in the transom, which is located centerline. This makes passage onto the boat from the dock easier and comes in handy when you're out fishing. Stepping into the cockpit, you're entering a wide open entertaining area with the added benefit of a molded hardtop. While many owners prefer to keep the space open for a variety of water sport activities, others use it as an outside dining area. If you were to host dinner and cocktails, this aft deck has plenty of space to set up a table for eight. Encircling this entire space above the gunnels are burwood cap rails, adding to the classic feel of this Fleming. A primary feature in this area is the aft deck control station with Glendening controls and thruster joysticks. As I mentioned in the intro, it's the third helm position available to the captain. Underfoot in the cockpit are a pair of large deck hatches, which provide direct access into the lazarette. Directly forward of these is a larger hatch, which gives you direct access into the lazarette as well as the engine room. Down in the lazarette, we find water tanks, steering gear, and air conditioning compressors, with plenty of room left over for cruising gear such as spare anchors, lines, and fenders. Immediately forward of this is the machine space. Found in Showtime's air-conditioned engine room are twin Cummins QSL9 410 horsepower continuous duty engines. These are complemented by a Cummins Onan genset with a 17 kW 60 Hz unit and a 21.5 kW generator to add extra capacity. Complementing her seagoing ability and smooth ride is the added support of the ABT hydraulic stabilizer fin pack and an AC shore power converter. Having talked a little bit about performance, we're next going to take a look at the salon, which is entered through double doors. Inside, every space is kept cool by a powerful 16,000 BTU four-zone air conditioning system. The welcoming feeling you get when you step inside is in part due to the windows that surround the salon. One of the most used features in the salon is the formal dinette, with a table and a bench seat running under the windows. To the port side is a wet bar finished with a granite bar top. Features that make this bar practical are the sink and cold storage. Located in the port forward corner of the salon is the galley, which is also finished with granite countertops. The appliances located in here include an induction cooktop, and there's also a microwave on the forward bulkhead. Looking outboard is a sink where you can clean up with the help of a Bosch dishwasher with a teak front panel. Opposite the main part of the galley is a full-size French door refrigerator with a freezer drawer below. This service area also proves to be a great coffee nook or a prep space. Let's close out today's walkthrough by covering the guest accommodations. Our first stop is on the starboard side where we find transverse bunks with plenty of storage. Just one step outside of this cabin is the laundry center. Directly across the companionway to port is the second guest cabin with side-by-side -side berths. These beds are separated by a nightstand and a bookcase. This room also offers the option to sleep a third with a hanging Pullman that can be moved into place. In addition to large hull side windows, you'll see that at the foot of the bed is a hanging locker and large storage cadenza. This stateroom and the bunk cabin share access to a head and a shower across the hall from here. The owner's cabin is forward in the bow and has a layout centered around an aft-facing berth. The master features plenty of storage and natural light as well as a private ensuite. A 
Again, my name is Max Murphy with Denison Yachting. If you'd like some more information about Showtime or would like to schedule a showing, please feel free to reach out.